here is the Sovos 7 inch portable digital TV with pause and record functions. That's a long name. So, today we're going to be taking a look at the outside and the inside. And also with the box as well. So, so let's just get started with the box. So, it has all that. Sovos right there. So basically it's basically, basically it's a TV and that's the end kind of thing to watch TV on. We have like Freeview Digital TV. We have like USB playback as well. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. On this side we have Sovos. We have a whole bunch of different places to use at. You can only use it in a home, a motorhome, or a caravan. God, if you can choose anything anywhere else, you're dead. Just a whole bunch of things that supports. Um, Sovos, Sovos. And on the back, we have just a whole bunch, just the features again. And also the contents. And yeah, just an aerial and a digital TV recorder. Straight to your USB stick, I guess. But it's not even just applied. So why why would you put it in? Oh well, let's just open it up and just see what we have. Ah. Uh, so first we have the remote right here, which to be honest reminds me of a, you know, an L LED light remote. Will I control these? Didn't think it would. Next up we have the manual. We're not reading that. We have the actual screen. Almost dropped that fucking thing. See, as you can see, we also have the power cable or the charger, because it's portable. And we have the aerial. Now, let's move the box to the side and just take a look at this. So, let's get started with the aerial. So, yeah, it's just this tall thing right here and it connects like that. Yeah. On the bottom, just that. Now let's take a look at the screen. We have a beautiful screen right here. Sovos, TV AV, channel, switching, volume up and down, and also scanning. Yeah. And we also have the indicator. On this side we have the where you plug it in, and that's the on and off. We have AV in and the headphone jack and volume. On the on this side, nothing. We have a USB and the aerial. Nothing. And on the back, we have a stand. Which is... There we go. Nice little stand. And also, batteries and... Yeah. Pretty much it. Now, let's plug it in. Plugged in. Switch it on. There we go. No or poor signal. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it's actually just a common problem with this, but I don't recommend this. Oh. Come on. If you have absolutely no patience with stuff like this, I don't recommend it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. There we go. So, this is just an example. You can switch to different channels and stuff like that. So, yeah. And if we go into... Uh, where is this? And that's info. That's... Text. Alright, so yeah. Here's like... The channel list and all that. DTV radio. Yeah, basically it's just um, switching to radio. Yeah. Um, TV AV. It's just where you connect AV, I guess. Yeah. Next up, um, let's do mode plus setup. Mode plus setup. Mode plus setup. Uh, what about mode plus setup? Come on, mode plus setup. I guess it doesn't want me to. 
Mode plus setup. Mode plus, uh, alright. So we have mm, digital TV, movie, music, photos, games, which is going to be mobile gaming. And yeah, let's go to a movie. USB media not present. Yeah, so that's all the USB stuff, as you can see. What's next? Uh, what's PBR listing? Whatever. And the games, you have three games like that, which we're not going to go through now. Uh, what else can we go through? Hmm. It's not, not really much, I guess. I guess that's pretty much all there is. So, let's just turn it off. And yeah. So, do I recommend it? Well, the only... The real big downside is the fact that this thing is just like the most sensitive thing in the world. I don't know if it's just... You know, the, just this one or just hacking up or not. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for, I'll see you next time.